Hello and welcome everyone to Science Era. In this video, we are going to discuss chapter number 11 of uh, Business Statistics. Uh, this chapter is related to regression and correlation analysis. So let's begin. In this video, we are going to discuss what is meant by concepts like regression and correlation analysis, scatter plots, least square methods, regression coefficients, dependent and independent variable, slopes, y-intercepts, interpolation, extrapolation. We're going to see um, coefficients of correlation and determination. How would you calculate the inter uh, interpret calculate and interpret the regression coefficients how would you estimate the y variable using the x variable and lastly how do you calculate and interpret coefficients of correlation and determination let's begin with scatter plot a scatter plot is used to show the relationship between two quantitative variables the, the linear relationship can be positive. Positive says as x increases, y increases. Or it can be negative as x increases, y decreases. Example of positive linear relationship include as advertising dollar increases, sales increases. A negative lin uh, linear relationship as the expensive increases, net income decreases. So next we are going to look at the type of correlations. Here you can see different graphs showing different kinds of correlations. Types of uh, correlations can include positive, negative, null, linear, exponential and U-shaped. When we talk about strength of correlation, we can say graph have strong or weak correlations or there is no correlation at all graph one show strong correlation graph uh, uh, the middle graph shows weak correlation and the last graph shows no correlation at all correlation coefficient the sample correlation coefficient R is a measure of strength of linear relationship between two variables based on sample observations. Only concern with the strength of relationship, no casual effect is implied in correlation coefficient. Next, we have calculating a correlation coefficient. When calculating a, co uh, a correlation coefficient, you are going to first find the sum of x values then you're going to find the sum of y values. Then multiply each x value by its corresponding y value and find the sum. Square each x value and find the sum. Then square each y value and then find the sum. And then using this formula given on the screen, you are going to find, you are going to substitute all the values you found here and then find the correlation coefficient. So let's look at the correlation coefficient features first. Range between minus 1 and 1. The closer to minus 1, the stronger the negative re linear relationship will be. The closer to 1, the stronger the positive linear relationship will be. The closer to 0, the weaker the linear relationship. Positive 1 and negative 1 are perfect correlation where all data points fall on the straight line. Here I have a small example related to the correlation coefficient. A national consumer magazine reported the following correlations. The correlation between car weight and the car reliability is minus 0, 0,30. Correlation between car weight and annual maintenance is Maintenance cost is 0, 0,20. Heavier car tend to be less reliable and heavier car tend to cost more to maintain. Car weight is related more strongly to reliability than to maintenance cost. You can uh, you can uh, see or like assume all this from the given correlation coefficient. Next, finding the coefficient correlation. 
as we said before find the sum of x values find the sum of y values then multiply x and y and then find the sum of those values fourth step will be find the square of x values and sum them find the square of y values and sum them here you can see uh, example is given about calculate the correlation coefficient for advertising expenditure and company sales data what can you calculate uh, what can you conclude so this is the graph or this is the data they have given us you are going to find the x y x y x squared and y squared values and then sum them all these are the data you are going to find next after you found the sum of y value x value squared y and x value x y sum substitute all of these and the given formula and then you have the coefficient of correlation which is 0 0.9129 Hypothesis testing for a, for a pop population correlation coefficient. A hypothesis test can also be used to determine whether the sample correlation coefficient R provides enough evidence to conclude that the population correlation coefficient P is significant at a specified level of significance. So, left tailed test, hy null hypothesis will be PO no significant negative correlation if alternative hypothesis is less than zero there will be significant negative correlation for left tailed test for right tail test null hypothesis PO no significant positive correlation for alternative hypothesis where P is greater than zero significant positive correlation for right tails test lastly two tails test null hypothesis p will be equal to zero no significant correlation for alternative hypothesis p zero there will be a significant correlation when making a decision in terms of a claim uh, first, you're going to state the null and alternative hypothesis using, uh, remember, we're using the t-test for population. State the null and alternative hypothesis. Specify the level of significance. Then identi identify the degrees of freedom. Then determine the critical value and rejection region. Find the standardized test statistic using this formula. And then make a decision to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis and interpret the decision in term of original claim. So you are going to follow these six steps when using the t-test for population. T-test stands for test statistics. Remember for advertising data, we calculated that coefficient of correlation was equal to 0 0.9129. Now to find the test statistics, we are first going to state null and alternate hypothesis. Then we're going to identify the significance level and then calculate the degree of freedom using the formula n minus 2. In this case, n is equal to 8. After we have all the data, we simply substitute in, in the test statistics formula and then make a decision. For the advertising data, we made the decision that we're going to reject the null hypothesis. At the 5% level of significance, there is enough evidence to conclude that there is a significant linear correlation between advertising expenses and the company sales. Next, we have regression analysis. Regression analysis is used to predict the value of a dependent variable, such as sales, based on the value of at least one independent variable, such as years, at company as a salesman. Based on the Midwest Excel file, dependent variable, the variable we wish to explain, cause, and the independent variable, the variable used to explain the dependent variable.
Explain the impact of changes in an independent variable on the dependent variable. What is a simple linear regression? Simple linear regression allows us to study the relationship between only two variables. So, you know, two variables are x and y. One variable x is called independent variable and the other variable y is also known as dependent variable. Simple linear regression uh, formula or equation you can say is, is y is equal to b o plus b1 times x. In this equation, x is the value of the independent variable, y is the value of dependent variable, b o or b0 is constant. It shows the value of y when the value of x is 0 and b1 is the regression coefficient. It shows how much y changes for each unit changes in x. Finding regression line equation. We're going to use um, uh, the same advertising expense data from before. To find the regression line equation, you need to first sum all the x values, then sum all the y values, then times x values with the corresponding y value and then sum them. Find the sum of x squared values and y squared values. When you have all this data, you're going to then find the gradient. Uh, remember the regression um, equation says y is equal to b o plus b1 x. In this equation, b1 is the gradient, m value. Using this formula given on the screen, this one, you're going to substitute all the sums um, uh, the data you found out and then calculate the gradient. Gradient in this case is 50.72874. Then rearrange the equation to find the B value or BO value which is 104.061. You have now the equation of line of regression which is Y equals 50.729X plus 104.061 for the advertising expenses sales. Next is predicting Y values using regression equation. The regression equation for the advertising expenses in thousands of dollars and company sales in thousands of dollars data is Y equals 50.729X plus 104.061. Use the equation to predict the expected company sales for advertising expenses below. So if you say $1.5,000, you're going to substitute 1.5 into the X value in the equation, into the equation in place of X value, and then you're going to find out the sales for advertising exp uh, expected sale for the company which will be uh, in case of 1.5 it will be 180.155 and so on prediction values are meaningful only for x values in or close to the range of the data x values in the original data set range from 1.4 to 2.6 it is not appropriate to use the regression line to predict company sales for advertising expenditures such as 0 0.5, 500 or 5.0, 5000. Next we have variation about regression line. You should know that there is three types of variation, total variation, explained variation or unexplained variation. Variation we can also say total deviation, explained deviation or unexplained deviation. Next, total variation, sum of squares of difference between the y values of each ordered pair and the mean of y. Total variation is equal to explained variation plus unexplained variation. Explained variation is sum of square of the difference between each predicted y value and the mean of y. 
unexplained variation is the sum of squares of differences between the y value and each ordered of each ordered pair and each corresponding predicted y value in order to find the coefficient of determination you should remember it is the ratio of explained variation to the total variation so coefficient of determination is r squared coefficient of correlation is r only r and the determination is r squared r squared is equal to explained variation over total variation in case of the advertising data correlation coefficient r was 0 0.913 so if you want to find the coefficient of determination you're going to square a 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.913 which will give you 0 0.834 this means that about 83.4% of variation in company sales can be explained by variation in advertising expenditure. About 16.9% of variation is unexplained. Next we have residual. Residual is the difference between actual data points and ones predicted by the regression line. Regression line is the line of best fit. If the residuals are small, model is good this uh, on the screen you can see e equals y minus y cap where e stands for residual y is the observed value and y cap is the predicted value next is finding residual suppose you are given a data where x values are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and the corresponding y values are 2, 5, 7, 6, 9, and 10. These values or uh, these y values are from the graph given here. In order to find the predicted outcome or y cap to find the residual, you're going to substitute these x values in this equation given, which is y equals 1.5 x plus 1.2 you're going to substitute 1 2 3 4 5 6 in place of x one by one to find the corresponding y value which will be predicted outcome which is 2.7 4.2 5.7 and so on then finding the residual for to find the residual for each value you're going to subtract y cap from the y value 2.7 minus 2 will give you minus 0 comma 7 then 4.2 minus 5 will give you 0 0.8 and so on so in today's video we learned about scatter plot and correlation type of correlations correlation coefficient and features hypothesis testing regression analysis, regression equation, coefficient of determination, and finding residual. If you understood today's lecture, like my video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That will be it for regression analysis and correlation. Please post your comments and questions in the space below. Thank you.